Okay, so this is going to be a longer video. I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys know. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a longer video. But before we jump in, I do want to give a shout out to Captain Alex for these really sick. I don't know if you can really see them. Draco Wish custom Joy-Cons. I really like how they turned out. Uh, so I'll be using these today instead of my normal GameCube controller because I really like the way that this turned out. But anyway, so I know a lot of my content is kind of um, entertainment focused. And this is still going to be entertainment focused. But I wanted to do a bit more of a serious take on uh, a laddering video. Video. Um... Because normally, you know, I ladder and I just kind of, you know, play and see what happens or whatever. But so I'm going to be doing my challenge of trying to get to number one. I'm not necessarily going to stop if I lose. I just want to, you know, play. And um, what is going to separate this from a regular video is that after each game, I'm going to take a little bit of time and just reflect on what I think either went well or, or went poorly. Um, and hopefully, because reflection is a bit a really big part of doing well at Pokemon. You have to be able to learn from your wins as well as your losses. And so... Um, yeah, that's kind of the goal. I don't know how long this is going to take. I will stop either when my voice gets tired or um, when I hit number one. So probably when my voice gets tired or when I get tilted, one one, one, one or the other. Um, but yeah, so we're rank 19 right now. I was streaming earlier today. I went from, uh, I went up and down, I went up, up and down and up and down and up and down. But we're still, we're in like shooting range of getting number one. The problem is that in order to get number one, you probably have to win, I think, more than five in a row, uh, realistically. Which is really difficult at the high ladder because opponents are very good and... Yeah, it's just, it's difficult to be consistent in Pokemon, especially in best of one, I will say, because, you know, you could run into a weird tech that you weren't expecting, and that could just be the game, so, um, yeah, we'll see if we can find an opponent here, if not, we will just continue to search. I'm playing at 8pm, which I thought would be a good time to do this, but maybe I was wrong, who knows. Um, yeah, we're using the Colossal team that I used to perform in the IC, I may have won, I'm not entirely sure. Um, to be completely honest, uh, rankings aren't out yet, but I have a feeling that I won. I just feel like I won, so therefore I won. No, I mean, I, I, uh, I was number one going into the last, to the timer, so I think it's very likely that I won, but we'll see. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to find somebody here, which is fine, we'll just have to search again. Um, I don't think I'm using these grips, like, properly, by the way. If you can see, like, towards the bottom, it doesn't, like, line up properly. I guess I could try reversing them. Okay, no, no luck there. Ah, it's whatever, I'll just keep looking try again yeah once it gets number one I'll, I'll share this team as a rental code or actually no i want to wait until i was going to wait to share the rental code until after i could make a team report because i do want to make a team report on the team because i know i've been using it a lot in stream and i've been using it a little bit in the channel i think um but for the most part um i wanted to just talk kind of talk through why i made the choices i did when i was building the team and some general modes just to make it more explicit for anyone who wants to use it because I, I don't know i think that could be interesting and i i don't talk about like the building part of teams that often um i like or yeah i don't normally explain why i did like e why i made each decision and stuff like that so it's fun it's fun for me to talk about um i hope we can find an opponent on the second run yeah it's also tough i mean i'd rather have no opponent than like a opponent in, like the three or four thousands or whatever but i would like to have an opponent ideally <laughs> um yeah i don't know if i've ever gone two full rotations without finding somebody i guess i could just stop and start the video again but just consider this intro I don't know. You can, if you're bored at this point, you can skip ahead until I find a trainer. Hopefully, it'll be soon. Yeah. Um, yeah, I went outside today for the first time in a long time. I went on a, on a, went on a run because I haven't been exercising very much, and I felt like that would be good for me. So, yeah, I was very, I was careful. I was careful. I stayed far away from everybody. There were actually, it was, it was pretty easy to avoid people. Um, though, I don't know. Some people are still kind of... Like, I, I was being super careful to just, like, get, like, stay, like, 10, 12 feet away from people. And some people just like it doesn't even seem like it's on their mind. I was I was a little surprised by that, um, but for the most part the city was pretty deserted, so that's fortunate. Um, I do feel like living in a city at a time like this is a bit of a disadvantage. Whereas like because if I was in the suburbs where I grew up, it would be pretty easy for me just to go to, like for a walk in the park. But in the city itself, geez, two no two no luck in a row. Um, yeah, like in this in the city itself, it's just like it feels riskier to go outside. Just because you're interacting with more more people and the places are more public. I thought about, by the way, changing Gastrodon from Ayapapa to Citrus Berry. I think that might be better here. I'm not totally sure. There's a couple calcs, like Dynamax, Rapier, and Reflect will 2 at KO Gastrodon, which is a problem. Um, and with Citrus Berry, that wouldn't happen. Please let me find somebody. Please. <laughs> I just want to make video. We're almost five minutes into the video and I intended to start right away. I, was, I haven't even been stalling. Like, I haven't even been doing a long intro. I guess this is the game's way of telling me that I need to make my intros longer. On the Joy-Cons, they have, like, these two side buttons, like, on the inside. I don't know what they do. Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. 
This, this sucks. I'm gonna be completely honest. I just want to play. <laughs> I already intended to film for a while. I don't, I don't need to drag out this video. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I, I, like, I think I should probably be exercising more just because I feel like it's good to do to like keep your body, I don't know, make your body feel better. Cause I've been, I've been like pretty much hardcore just staying inside. I don't know about you guys, but like, I just like, I've only gone out to get food and I only get food when I like have to. I should look into, like, what some of those grocery delivery services. Oh, we found somebody. Okay, let's see. There's probably... That's actually... That's, like, pretty good for a ranking, given how long we had to search. So, uh, the team is interesting. It's... Inteleon, Darmanitan, Weezing Chandler, Mimikyu, and Dragapant. So... They're gonna, ha they're gonna bring Weezing for sure. So, we know one of their four Pokemon. If I was them, I'd probably lead with Gal Galarian and Darmanitan as well. Um... I'm tempted to lead Dusclops here. Personally, I think leading Dusclops makes a lot of sense. Um, but the problem is that I think that they're going to lead Galarian and Darmanitan. So, that makes my life a little harder. Because um, I could... Like, the thing is... I think what I want to do here is go for hard trigger mode. Maybe I'll do Conkleder up front. Although, basically, Togengus is better unless... Togekiss is, like, way better unless they lead with Darmanitan. And if they lead Darmanitan, then maybe Conkler is better. Who am I going to Dynamax this game? I think I'm actually going to do something a little strange. I'm going to do Conkler and Dusclops in the front. And do Colossal and... Oh, could I, I could actually do Colossal and Dragapult in the back if I wanted. That's really interesting. I don't know if this is going to work, um, but I'm going to try it. This is This is not something I normally do. Uh, leading, bringing Dragapult in the back is something I almost never do, especially since Gastronon made a lot of sense here. If they lead with Chandelure, I'm going to be in trouble out of the gates. Um, so I hope they don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Chandelure up front would be difficult for this to deal with. I think they'll probably bring Weezing in the back. I think, like, maybe Dragapult or Manitan. Mimic you. Oh, that's... I should have let Token get, shouldn't I? Okay. Um, Icky. Choice, Specs, and Expert Belt. Okay, so that wasn't what I was expecting. Um, to be completely honest with everybody, I didn't expect a lead like this. I know they have Weezing in the back. So, I could go for... Okay, huh. I could Dynamax Max Ice Punch here, or I could just regular Ice Punch. I'm just going to regular Ice Punch, and I'm going to switch to Dragapult here. I think, realistically, they have to double Dusclops. They stay in with both Pokemon. I guess they could also go for Max Phantasm and Play Rough, which would be pretty bad for me. Okay, they go for Shadow Ball. So, Dragapult's taking a lot of damage here. The good news is that as long as Playruff doesn't drop my attack, they go for Shadow Claw. Okay. Into Dragapult. So I trade we trade Dragapult here, which isn't honestly isn't terrible um, at all. I think Ice Punch will KO. If it doesn't KO, I'd be shocked. Mimikyu is a problem for this team, I'm not gonna lie to anybody. Yeah, trading Dragapult is, is honestly not that bad for me. And they reveal Shadow Claw as well. So yeah, I think bringing Dragapult in the back actually works as a sack here, because I get to reset the situation. And make it a 3 versus 3 rather than a 4 versus 4. But getting rid of one of their ghost types. They have 3 ghost types. Are you serious? Inteleon. Okay, so that tells us the last Pokemon is, in fact... Um... Huh. I might want to die next Conkleder here. Do I think that Inteleon with Max Dark... Max Darkness would do a lot of damage to me. And then Shadow Claw might KO. On the other hand... Like, we think the last Pokemon is Weezing, right? So if I get rid of this Inteleon, then I probably can win. I'm going to Drain Punch and Trick Room here and see what happens. Might mess around and f see what happens. They're Life Orb Inteleon. I don't really know much about them. I know that a lot of times they will run Dark Pulse. They, But a lot of times also they'll run Water, Ice, and Flying. So I don't know. They could just go for the Vortex here. Which would make some sense in my mind. But we'll see. Because Conkleder, Conkleder might just drop here. They go for... Geyser, okay. This should mean that Dusclops will survive, but Conkleder's probably super dead. Dusclops takes... Too much damage. 
Although, I might survive now. I actually may survive. They probably have Shadow Sneak Mimic you, right? Shadow Claw comes out. Do I survive this? Unfortunately, I don't actually, which I'm a little surprised by. Um, huh. This went badly. Although, okay, so if Drain Punch does like 70%, then Mock Punch should KO from there, I think. In fact, I'm going to go even further. I'm going to say Mock Punch needs to KO or I'll lose the game. This is a little volatile. Uh, this is a little too volatile for me, I would even say. Would have been good dead Gashron on the back because I could have made a switch that turn, but... Uh, I'm going to go for Mock Punch into the Inteleon here. I think it's my only chance to win this. And I'm going to go for a Vocalith. I think that's in my best interest anyway. The last Pokemon are Darmanitan, Chandler, or Weezing. All of whom do low-key kind of lose to... Um, low-key all kind of lose to uh, Vocalith Boy here. So if I can just get rid of this Inteleon, I think I have a decent chance at winning. We expect Shadow Claw, Play Rough, and Shadow Sneak. Interesting. Okay. Interesting, interesting. A good move, though. Um, I think. If this is Darmanitan, great friend. It is Weezing. Okay. It's a shame that doesn't break Disguise. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is a shame that doesn't break Disguise. It also does weaken my Mock Punch, though. Um, it's kind of bad, isn't it? I'm going to have to go for Max Flare into Mimikyu next turn. I don't think Weezing gets Poison coverage moves. Yeah, that was a good switch. That was a really good switch. Play Rough, I don't know if it will knock out Conkleder. I have a feeling it won't. Mock Punch comes out. We do a tiny bit of damage. This isn't terrible, all things considered, just because uh, it tells us whether or not they're Black Sludge. They get a Play Rough off, though. Come on, Conk. Conkleder just drops. I'm just really surprised by that. I didn't expect to get knocked out there. Um, and now this is looking kind of rough, because uh, I got the Vocalith off, but I have no way of activating my Steam Engine. And they're actually in torrent range as well, now that I think about it. So, um, yeah, I would need basically to KO Mimikyu this turn. I mean, yeah, I need to KO Mimikyu this turn, right? And I don't know if that's happening between the the rain and the fact that they don't have life orb. This, this expert belt's actually giving them a, a really noticeable power buff. So if I get sun up this turn, do I even survive an Intellion attack? My gut says no. And if I'm not going to survive an Intellion attack, then maybe I need a double anyway. Because Flare is not going to knock out Mimikyu from this range, right? Although, I guess going for Flare and then KOing both Pokemon at the same time is fine. Like, I would need Flare to do, like, 50%. Yeah, it's not going to do 50%. Sludge Bomb comes out. Not a huge deal. Um, though the Poison is actually super annoying. <laughs> it's unfortunate. They go for Shadow Claw. Not that much damage. They crit me. I'm going to get a Flare off. Okay, I didn't do enough damage, unfortunately, and they are... Okay, so the way that I win this, I have two turns left to Vocalith after this. Oh, I actually can't win this, now that I think about it. Um, I cannot win this. Because I set Vocalith up too early. Because Intellium will only take one turn of Vocalith. Unfortunately, so I'm going to KO the Weezing this turn, or try, try to KO the Weezing. Sludge Bomb. Yeah, I think... Because Inteleon most likely a sh uh, Snipe Shot. As it's Water-type move. Yeah, I, re I really wish I brought Gashard onto this game. It was... Although, honestly, like they played super well by switching Inteleon out. That was a really good move, because uh, it ensured that... They survive, but only for one more turn. Yeah, switching Inteleon out was really smart there, because... And ensure that they wouldn't that they wouldn't lose to Colossal in the end. Who, as you can see, almost brought this one back. Um, if I had a tiny bit more chip on the Inteleon, I would win. Um, however, I, I don't I don't have any more chip on the Inteleon than what I've shown you. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna lose this game. Unfortunately, uh, um, I can protect. I'll go for it. Bop. I'm gonna be close. I mean, if they had Hydro Pump or Hydro Cannon, which can miss, I could I could win this. Because all it would take is a... Hydro Cannon's only 90% accurate, I think. Yeah, they'll, they'll get KO'd by their own Life Orb as well. If I had if I gotten Coles up a turn later, I would be in better shape. I think maybe I should have flared turn 1. Well, we'll talk about what I should have done after. But yeah, we have a 10% we have chance to win this game if they make the wrong move and they go for Hydro Cannon again. They have to have a better move to KO me. 
there's no way they don't. Um, but yeah, I mean, at least we get to see Hydro Cannon's animation. I, I, you know, in the worst case. All Ancient Power. They're going to go for a Hydro Cannon. They are going to connect. So, okay, we could have won this. And it actually is a 0-0. Zero, zero. So let's talk about what went wrong there. Um, the team matchup was wonky. I, my, I put I faint first. They faint. No, they actually survived. It didn't even matter. Okay, yeah. So what I did wrong there, a lot of it came down to the leads. Um, I led really badly there. I, I led really badly. Um, and my decision to bring Dragapult in the back with Colossal backfired big time into the, the double ghost lead. I should have led Togekiss. I basically hard read a Dramaniton lead um, and ended up really paying for it. Other than that, I don't think too many of my other plays were that bad. Like, I think my turn one play was pretty good trading. Um, but maybe, I don't know. Like, with Weezing is a tough matchup for Colossal because it turns off the abilities. Actually, yeah, I couldn't even have avoided um, Inteleon with, with Storm Drain. So, I don't know. I think it was tough. I think it was a tough matchup. Um, I don't really have that much to say about it. I don't think... I could have maybe gone for a max flare uh, at the end of at the uh, at my first turn, and then max vocal at the second turn. That might have been better. I don't know. Like it, it was tricky to be completely honest. Yeah, it was actually it was really tricky. Maybe yeah, max flare to break disguise and then max vocal. That would have at least given me a chance to probably win with a double protect in the end. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it was that bad of a matchup or any- Or I don't think it was that bad playing or anything. I think I brought the wrong Pokemon and I- I needed to trick him up to win that game and I- I just didn't respect Mimikyu or Dragapult enough. Originally, like, if it wasn't for- If it wasn't for the Dermanitan, I probably would have led Togekiss there. Togekiss, um, Dusclops is normally my lead against that style of team, but, um... And w if I- you know, if I'd been able to do that, then I probably would have been in fine shape, but... For whatever reason, I chose not- I chose to lead Conkledor, which is- Fine, you can do Conkled or Dusclops as a lead, but only in the situation, only in the in the condition that you 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 don't expect Dusclops to be able to get knocked out turn one. And in front of double ghost, triple ghost even, like they were guaranteed to bring a ghost type to the battle. So, yeah. Anyway, bad play, but we'll we'll keep playing. We'll see what we can do. Okay, this is Colossal with Umbreon, um, with Serena, and Raichu and Togekiss and Blastoise. So. When I look at this, I see a couple things. The first option is obviously Colossal. That Blastoise is most likely an Aqua Jet set. Um, yeah. I think versus a team like this, I want to go for Dragapult Colossal up front. Um, this does a good job against a lot of the things that they could lead. And then in the back, um, I think I want to do Dusclops. And then I have the choice of either doing Conkled or Gastronon. So Gastronon would be nice for Blastoise. However, I do think that this is not going to be Shell Smash Blastoise on this team. And even if it is, I don't think it's that that big a deal. Um, yeah, Light Screen's really good here. The only physical Pokemon are Serena and um, Umbreon. And maybe Colossal. Colossal can run physical, though they normally do go special. So um, I didn't even know that was an option for a trainer card. What the heck? <laughs> um, but yeah, I think overall this doesn't look like a bad matchup. It can be a little awkward. Colossal mirrors are always a little awkward in my opinion. Um, but yeah. I'll we'll just see what the lead with. Oh, Raichu gets Surf. Oh, Raichu gets Surf. Okay. Umbreon and Blastoise are the leads. So, um, hmm. They could Dynamax their Blastoise here for sure. I think I want to go for a Light Screen. And I kind of want to switch if I'm going to be completely honest. I expect to take, like, a foul play and maybe a water move. I think they might Dynamax their um, Blastoise here. So, I think just playing defensive is fine. Conkleder and Trick Room is pretty strong here. Um, so, even if something happens to my Dragapult, getting screens up in exchange for Trick Room, especially if I can bait out a Dynamax, is good. I'm worried this is going to be a support Blastoise, though, with, like, a uh, side Aqua Jet um, and Yawn. Yawn would be really kind of concerning for me because I don't really have great switches. I might have to just, like, let Pokemon fall asleep. But I don't know if you would Yawn here. Let's see if they Dynamax, because if they don't Dynamax, then I could have just Surf and Max uh, Grass them. Let's find the items. Safety Goggles and Salt Vest Blastoise. So there's no Yawn, which is good, but there's also a weird play. They don't Dynamax. Oh, maybe they survive, actually. Flash Cannon, actually. Okay. I suppose they read my Switch. And, oh, Umbreon has Yawn. Alright, that makes sense. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Well, in that case, we know these Pokemon are weird. I'm going to switch into Conk. I don't need Trick Room up to beat Umbreon. I don't need Trick Room up to beat anything. I'll smack, I'll smack whatever is in front of me. Um, and Dragapult surviving that turn is nice. Flash Cannon Blastoise. I wonder what the other moves are. Fake Out, Water, probably Aqua Jet. Let's see. Might Reflect Up. This will help me live with Foul Play if they go for it. I'm interesting to me that they went for Flash Cannon and not like Ice Move, but... Oh, Water Spout. Okay. 
Okay, well, that's kind of bad. Ah, uh, didn't do that much damage. It's fine. Let's see if they foul play me. They taunt me, actually. Oh, taunt Umbreon. Okay. Interesting. So, this isn't that bad at all. Conkleder wasn't really thinking about detecting anyway. Um, there's no guarantee they have Togengus in the back, who is their only switch into Conk. But just in case, I'm going to go for Dragon Darts so we can Water Spout and Drain Punch. This Blastoise is a good... Uh, thank you for subscriber. Um, this Blastoise is a good answer to my Colossal, so I think just seeing what they want to do with it is fine here. Um, and getting even if they stay in here, we know Umbreon doesn't have recovery on its own. It needs to go for, like, Wish if it wants to recover. Um, and we've already seen Yawn and Taunt, so we can expect probably Foul Play or Snarl or both. Um... So yeah, I think getting a little bit of chip damage on this Umbreon could be valuable, because if I get some chip on it, then I could beat it later with Colossal. We do have to realize that this Umbreon is a pretty good answer to my Dusclops, though. I have a feeling they might just stay in and yawn. If they stay in and yawn, that tells us this better not be Togekiss. Okay, if, it, if that was Togekiss, I was about to be really mad. <laughs> so they would have just let me take uh, Umbreon here, which is a little surprising to me, but instead we're going to get Sarina, which is fine. That's good damage. Foul play comes out. There should be into Dragapant. We do actually get knocked out by that. I thought we'd live with Reflecta, but um, yeah, Dragapult's pretty strong. Drain Punch coming out this turn. Huh. I can't detect because they taunted me. Um, but we trade Serena for Dragapult, but I got my screens up. And a little chip damage on Umbreon. I don't think this is a terrible trade. Uh, the thing is, they, they are going to have to Dynamax at some point, and so am I, frankly. Um... Yeah. I don't know. I really don't know what to do here. Like, they could easily... There's so many things they could do that would just be, like, a little annoying. I expect Blastoise to come back in here, but, uh... Yeah, we'll have to see if they have any answers to Conkledur. Because it's kind of looking like they don't. I go Disclops. Let's see who they go into. They go into Colossal. Okay. So it's going to be a colossal battle here at the end. Um, I really would like to get rid of... If they taunt me, we might have a problem. Actually, now that I think about it. If they taunt me, I might have a problem. I'm going to max Knuckle here into the Umbreon. Because basically, I'm afraid of Haze. Or I'm afraid of I'm afraid of Taunt, and then they go into Blastoise and self, self Aqua Jet. Water Spout, Aqua Jet, Flash Cannon, and one more. Um, I didn't have to Dynamax Conkledur here, I just realized. They Dynamax Colossal, so that yeah, makes sense. Uh, Dynamax and Conkledur was the wrong play, I think. Now, I, I kind of just did it because I, my brain was already in, like, Blastoise came in and I have to survive the fake out. Um, but in reality, actually, I think it's okay to Dynamax Conkledur, now that I think about it. Like, Colossal's not amazing here to Dynamax against these last two Pokemon. All, all, actually, against all three of these Pokemon. Oh, I still have screens up. Okay, having screens up helps a lot. Although the vocal lift damage is going to be adding up really fast. Let's see. I've got four turns of vocal lift that I'm probably going to have to weather. Does it weather? In a best case scenario, they uh they don't taunt my Dusclops. Even a yawn into Conkleder would be preferable. The yawn into Conkleder, I mean, not amazing, but also not horrible. Vocal lift comes out. Alright, the thing is, though... We get rid of Umbreon. I wish I really, I really wish I drain punched there, um, but we get an attack boost, which is nice. It's nice. All right, I have four turns of Oakleth to survive. Umbreon's just gone. It's just, it's it's beyond. It's goodbye time for Umbreon. How many turns of screens do I have left? Probably that was probably my last one if I had to guess. Of one of them, it feels like it's been five turns. We get Trick Room up. So. They can side Aqua Jet here if they want. That's definitely an option. Um, bop. My Conqueror is going to fall asleep really soon. I think my game plan here is... I'm no longer taunted. Yes, yes, not taunted. Um, I think my game plan here is... Max Knuckle the Blastoise because it can't protect and I can KO it from there. Um, from this range at plus one, I think. And then I can always win this in a one versus one with Colossal versus Blastoise, I think. Or Colossal versus um, Dusclops. So I'm going to switch into, just, uh, into my own Colossal, and I'm just going to one-shot this Blastoise. I will fall asleep at the end of the turn. However, however, uh, I think this is still a favorable trade, because even in the worst-case scenario, which is that they get their Aqua Jet off, right? Which is risky, because I could just... Like, I feel like the obvious play here is to use my plus one Max Knuckle into uh, Colossal. Um, and I'm yawned. But yeah, because I have Haze on my Dusclops, I feel like this is 
fine. I think I don't think a screen went down either, so I still am bulky for another turn. But yeah, worst play, worst case scenario is they aqua jet themselves. No, they max guard, okay, because they were afraid of the fighting move. I got a knuckle off. Blastoids goes down. And I have one more turn of uh, Dynamax, but I am running out of... I'm running out of health, I guess. I don't know. It should be fine. Zueza. It's their last turn of Dynamax as well. I am asleep now. Uh, but burning through these turns of... Oh, my Lich King's gone. Okay. Burning through these turns of their Dynamax and their Vocalith is really valuable because, again, my, my win condition, in my opinion hasn't necessarily changed. I still want to win with, with Dusclops. I can haze away any boost that I accidentally give them. Um, yeah. I just have to be careful. I have to be really careful. First turn of sleep. I wonder if they'll go for a sun. They go for Vocalith again. They're going to activate my weakness policy. Um... I can't tell if that's physical or special. Hmm. If Concorder wakes up, I'll win. Reflect is gone, so I don't know if that was physical or special, like I said, but... Um, let's see. Might be physical, actually. Like, I don't want to accidentally give them a, a, a boost, you know? Turns of Trick Room left are two. So let's say worst case scenario and I give him a boost. I give him a boost here. I should still be okay. I'm going to Ancient Power and Drain Punch. If I wake up, I just win. One turn sleep. One turn sleep. One turn sleep. I also could be slower than them. Oh, I won. Okay. Cool. Goodbye. That was a little lucky, but I think I was in a good position anyway. Got a three versus one. Um, with Trick Room still up, yeah. Their advantage was they had Vocalith, but it was ending this turn. So, good game. Um, but yeah, in that game, what I think I did well was um, I pressured with... I, I identified early on that Conkloder was problematic for their team. They didn't bring a switch into Conkloder because they only had one, and it was Token Guess, and they didn't bring it. So, I think I used Conkloder really well to put pressure. I think I had smart drain punches for the most part. Um, yeah. I think that was honestly most of the thing. And then I think I think something I did poorly was um, I didn't use my Dynamax super well. Like, I let myself get Yawn when I wasn't really under da in danger of anything. Like, just Drain Punching a Dombreon would have been pretty good, and then I could switch out. Um, but overall, I don't think I don't think I did that. I don't. I think that was overall pretty fine. Um, so, yeah. No, no, I don't think that was... I don't think it was too bad or anything. Um, yeah, it was, it's always weird when you play against strange Pokemon and, like, strange sets. Like, I haven't played against an Assault Fest Blastoise this generation. And I haven't played against a Safety Goggles Umbreon. I haven't played against many Umbreon at all, truthfully. Um, so, yeah, I think it's important to be able to adapt on the fly. Because I wasn't really ready for that lead. I wasn't. I didn't expect Blastoise Umbreon lead, especially when I, you know, realized that they were defensive items. Ooh, that was fast. Madcat. Okay, number. this person's pretty high ranked. So, hopefully we can beat them. Okay, versus this kind of team, there's two things that jump out at me. The first is the Dusclops. Um, well, actually, the first is does this does this drag up hold of Max Geyser because it kind of looks like a Max Geyser lead. Um, the second is the Sand Pokemon, and also Dusclops is kind of weird here, and my Lodog is kind of weird. So, um, I could do Colossal Dragapult, but the problem with that is that with Dusclops on this team, it makes like versus a lot of Sand teams, you can just do like I don't know, you can just like basically sack Colossal early on to win the game with Conkledur in the end, but versus a Dusclops version of this team, I don't know if that will work. Um, so Gastronon looks really nice here. I think I do want to bring Gastronon. I guess something I, I guess I don't need Dusclops here, actually. <sighs> this is kind of tricky. So I think my two options are Dragapult, Colossal, Conkledur, Gastronon, or a Dusclops, Conkledur, Gastronon, Colossal in some, in some order. Maybe in that order. The problem is, though, like, if they get, if they lead Dragapult Togekiss, like, if it's Max Geyser, for example, they could do that. I don't know. I'm going to do Dragapult Colossal, Conquered, or Gastronon, and if it's, like, Sandy Boys, then I'm going to have to adapt pretty quickly. Like, Gastronon and Conquered are, like, really nice here in the end game. I just have to get around Togekiss. That's, I, yeah, pretty much just have to get around Togekiss. <sighs> kind of a weird, kind of a weird team. 
I've also seen Imprison Dusclops on teams that were like, Dusclops doesn't make that much sense. And to be honest, I don't think this is Imprison Dusclops. Like, I've seen enough of these teams to not expect Imprison Dusclops here. However, how is it? How is it? Um, it's still a little out of place. Because I guess it gives them a trigger mode with like, maybe it's all, it might be Life Orb Milotic. Um, Life Orb Milotic and then Weakness Policy, Tyranitar. But then what's the item on the Dragapult? Because only Tyran only one of Tyranitar and Dragapult can have. Ooh, it's Zorclop, Dusclops. Okay. Uh, Excadrill and Dusclops are the lead. That's not too bad. Um, that lets me go into Gastrodon right away, which is pretty valuable. And set a Reflect up. Zorclop has Pressure, so it's not Frisk for some reason. Um, I don't know why, but this person's high rank, so we can't underestimate them. We're going to go Reflect and switch to Gastrodon. This does a couple things. Um, first of all, okay, in theory, sure. Could I go for, could I have gone for like Surf and Mac and Heat Wave and just take out Excadrill turn one? Yes, but there's a very real chance that Tyranitar switches in here, and that would be very bad for us. Um, especially without any knowledge on about like any of their sets. This tells us that they probably do have Tyranitar in the back, which means that they probably have... Let's see, it's probably not Dragapult. Togekiss or Milotic? Could be Togekiss here for sure. We're going to Gastrodon. I didn't want to protect because I want to save my weakness policy because I think that could be valuable later. Oh, it's an ally switch actually. Okay. That's not bad. Um, I actually prefer that to Trick Room going up. So I'm going to get a uh, Reflect up here. They're going to go for a, an Earthquake, actually. So they're going to damage themselves. Um, it actually doesn't do zero damage. Does it? Oh, it's Life Orb. That's why. Yeah, I thought that shouldn't be doing that much. Okay. Risky. Really risky play, but it works out for them. Do we need Light Screen or can we start Surfing? I think I'm going to Surf and Scald into the Excadrill. Um, I'm not that worried about Tyranitar coming in. Like, Yawn is kind of low-key pretty much better in every way. So maybe I should yawn here. Into Zorclop. The thing is, they could just switch. I'm going to yawn the Zorclop. Okay, they don't Dynamax. Let's see. I wonder if they Iron Head here. Like, basically, this should put Excadrill... That put Excadrill, even if Dynamax is pretty close to Mach Punch range. They go for another Earthquake. Why are they so determined to get damage on their Dusclops? They must be Pain Split. Dragapult survives, which is pretty nice, actually. Are they going to Nightshade me? Wow. Wow. Maybe we should have killed Excadrill. It's kind of being problematic. Okay, Trick Room comes up. I mean, that's not terrible for us, right? Um, Dusclops has to switch out here or it will get slept. Um, do they have, what are the special attackers on this team? Milotic, Togekiss, or Dragapult are the last Pokemon. I could Dragon Darts for damage. Oh, I'm pretty sure Tyranitar is coming in here. I'm pretty sure Tyranitar is coming in here. I'm going to Dragon Darts and... Scald into the... Scald into the Excadrill. I switched Zerk Zerklop out. I mean, this isn't this hasn't been a great trade. Yeah, here comes Tyranitar. I guess they could protect. I could have doubled this slot, in theory, but I, I figured since I have Conkledor in the back, it's actually not really worth it for me to double it. Okay, no protects. I maybe... Yeah, I think this is fine. We trade Excadrill. Um, f like, I get Excadrill, they get... A, they get Dragapult, they get a lot of damage on Gastronon, and I get a little damage on Tyranitar, and Trick Room is up. Which, it's not really clear who that favors right now. I think I should seriously consider Dynamax and Conkledor right now. They're playing very strange, though. I, like, I can't really make heads or tails of this play. I can only assume they have... Um, well, we've, we've seen Ally Switch, so they actually might not have Pain Split. Like, that's not... That's not a lot of... If you run Ally Switch, you oftentimes don't run Pain Split. Here comes Dwarf Club. Dwasquops. <laughs> Here comes Dwasquops again. Um, let's see. So, in this case, I have boosted Gastrodon. I have plus one Gastrodon. Boosted kind of feels misleading. Um, they have allies, which is the problem. And who's the last Pokemon? All the last Pokemon lose to Conkledor. I'm going to max Hailstorm into Zorclop, I think. And, well, let me think this through. I have 30 seconds. So, uh, basically, they could allies, which is what I'm afraid of, right? And I, I think I should Dynamax Conkledor this turn. Yeah, I think, I think if I'm, I'm afraid of Ally Switch, then it, I should make the safe move and double the Dusclops here with Scald and Max Hailstorm. Um, if they Ally Switch, I will proc a Weakness Policy. I don't know if you would Dynamax with your Tyranitar, though, here. Um, because the obvious risk is, in my opinion, pretty obvious. They could have will -O -Wisp. Like, if they will o here, then they would survive. Um, but let's see. They stay in with both Pokemon, so we're going to have to see if they go for Protect or if they go for Ally Switch. Um, yeah, we should even... Even after a Burn and a Dynamax... Uh, we might, we probably won't KO, but it'll, it'll come close. 
it'll be really close. Like, after Hail, it'll be really close. And if they ally switch and don't Dynamax, they'll get KO'd anyway. And even if they ally switch and Dynamax, like, we're gonna get a big chunk of damage off here. Ally switch comes out. Okay, well, so I basically, I did this play because I thought it would KO regardless. Like, unless, unless they Dynamaxed. Um, but I didn't think they would, they were likely to Dynamax here, so... I went for Scald because in case the Dynamax it would give me a pretty good chance to burn. Though it looks like Earth Power may have KO'd. Yeah, I haven't burned in a while, so I'm not surprised by that. It's not Weakness Policy or Lumberry, but it doesn't matter because it's getting KO'd anyway. And we get to set the Hail up. The Hail is actually kind of good here. Um, because it's, it's, it might knock Gastrodon into range of, um, of Ayapapa Berry. But they haven't Dynamax, which is a pretty relevant thing here. However, we've taken out two of the best answers to Colossal. So... Yeah, if it's like token gets in the back, then Colossal's pretty good if we can get through the Dynamax. Um, that also supports the hypothesis that they do not have ally switch. Yeah, so two turns of Dynamax left. I think two turns of Trick Room maybe, or three. I have to check. Oh, it's my Lodic. Okay. Now, my Lodic is not the Pokemon you want to see in the endgame, in my in my experience. Um, yeah, I make, cause that's a Pokemon that can definitely win on its own. I think I'm going to go for Protect here. I've got to conserve Gastrodon, I think, to win this. I'm going to predict Gastrodon and try and take... I need to get rid of this Zorclop first. That's my first priority. Okay, protect. No Dynamax again. Are they going to coil? What are they doing? Pain Split. They had Pain Split this whole time. Oh, no. They're going to get a lot of health back. Ah, they're not in range anymore. Shoot. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, I should have doubled it. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, I'm doing no damage. Oh, God. They go for a co oh it's Coil Milo oh my god this is a terrible way to end the game although Coil Milo like, oftentimes will run Coil Hypnosis Recover and Muddy Water which would mean that it could never beat Gastronon. okay fifty one health I ate my berry and if they can't beat Gastronon, then I could win <coughs> excuse me oh how many Ginger Sugar am I left Reflect is gone okay and I never set Light Screen up. Reflect doesn't matter anymore. This should be the last turn of Trick Room and my, and my last turn of Dynamax. Um, I guess I go for Hailstorm and Yawn here. Having Colossal in the back is pretty bad in this position. Maybe I should have Yawned this Worklop because I probably can't beat my Lodic under. Uh, I might be able to beat my Lodic. It probably doesn't have like a move to stop. Um. Okay, wow. Wait a second. Why is Gasher not moving before Dusclops? Did they forget about Trick Room? They forgot about Trick Room. They're reversing Trick Room on themselves. They weren't counting Trick Room turns properly. I don't think that's the right move. Zorkov goes down. Okay, this is a three versus one, but they haven't Dynamaxed yet. Are they going to Coil? Are they going to Hypnosis? They go for a Coil. Okay, they're plus two now, but they are Yawned. And Hail is still up. Wow. I think this Milotic probably doesn't have a move to hit my, my, uh, my Gastrodon. I'm back to Babby for me with Conk, but Conkle did its job. I'd considered late game offensive Milotic, but I hadn't considered late game defensive coil Milotic. I'm gonna detect and protect, just see what they do. They should forfeit if they don't have a move other than Muddy Water. If they do have a move other than, other than Muddy Water. Okay, they didn't forfeit. Wait, was Trick Room not over? I guess I counted wrong. Oh no, no, I'm right, I'm right, never mind. Trick yeah. Okay, what are they going to do here? Are they going to coil again? Hypnosis. Okay, no coils. No coils in the chat. More hail damage is nice. I'm still plus one in Gastrodon as well, which is kind of nice. Um, and Conqueror is strong. I never got. I never went for an attack boost, but that's fine. Um, I don't need the attack boost. This should be the last turn of hail. Like, hail should end now. So I'm going to Drain Punch and Earth Power. Hopefully we don't give them a boost, but yeah, even if we do, it's okay. Okay, they're going to Dynamax. They could waste all three turns of their Dynamax, but this makes me nervous. I'm not going to lie. We've seen Coil. We've seen Hypnosis. They could have an Ice move. Like, if they had an Ice move, I could lose this. Because then they could beat Gastrodon. I'm worried that Earth Power is going to drop their Special Defense. If Earth Power drops their Special Defense, we might have a problem. We're going to have a problem. And they're plus two defense. So my Drain Punch is going to do like 20% here. Didn't do very much damage. Thing is, I can't get Hypnosis right now. Okay, I don't drop their defense. 
They don't have any special attack boosts, so, like, I'm not that worried about... I'm gonna Drain Punch and Protect here, I think. Because I'm not worried about Conkodor getting KO'd, and I... If Gastronon were to faint now, like, if there was a one-turn sleep and Gastronon fainted, I think I would probably lose. If I had to guess. They don't wake up, so my Protect was wasted. Um... I'm gonna switch Gastronon out this turn. I don't care about my special attack boost. I just want Gastronon to not get KO'd. Conqueror is healing here, which is nice. There's not a ton of health back, but given that they're not special attack boosted... Okay, Citrus Berry. That tells us the item. Okay. I'm gonna Drain Punch, and I'm gonna switch to Colossal. Just in case they have a... Okay, they forfeit. I don't, I don't know if they had a move to hit me. I really, I really don't think that they did. We can, wait, maybe we can check. Maybe we can check. Show me their team. Oh, nope. Yes, I do. Okay, let's see what their Milotic had. Yeah, th okay, that, yeah, that game, it only, it was only, yeah. You, they could never beat Ga uh, Gastrodon. I guess they could technically win in a timer battle and a timer win, but it would have been hard, I think, for them to get to that point. Because they would have had to gash it on... Okay, we're back to where we started. Oh, sorry. I forgot to reflect. Basically, that game... Um, I think that it was just kind of weird. I don't... Like, I think that saving Gastron and the way that I use Gastron is pretty smart. Um, like, but the the way that they played their Excadrill, honestly, was just super confusing to me. I don't have that much to say about it. Um, yeah, like, the way they used Excadrill was really weird because they kept earthquaking themselves. Because they had Pain Split and I guess they wanted the damage, but... Um, I think setting Reflect turn 1 was really, really smart. I think inferring that they had Tyranitar in the back was good as well, but the, the late game Milotic was kind of scary, but thankfully we had Gastrodon, and some Pokemon, like, certain Rotom Wash sets, and, and Milotic with that kind of set can't ever beat Gastrodon. Mm. So, I don't know. I think, I think it was probably fine. Um, yeah, if they hadn't forfeited, yeah, the thing is, like I said, in order to KO Conkler, they would have had to hit me with, like, two or three Muddy Waters. And Colossal for another one. And so, I think it would have been difficult. Because they would have always basically ended up boosting Gastron to plus four at some point, I think. And so, yeah. I think what my opponent did, like, not... I think the reason they lost is they didn't use their Dynamax especially well. Like, I understand why they didn't. Because they didn't want to use it on Excadrill because they wanted to use Earthquake and get the spread damage. And they didn't want to use it on Tyranitar because I already had damaged them. And it was in front of a Conkleter. And if they got the read wrong, then they would have just lost their Dynamax in one turn. But what ended up happening was that they had Dynamax in the end and no good target for it. Like, they had Dusclops and, and Milotic, and you don't really want to Dynamax either of this Pokemon under normal circumstances. Well, Milotic you can Dynamax, but not a not a, not, not a bulky one like that. Especially in front of a Gastron when your only move is Max Geyser. So, um... Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess it, not a bad game at all. Not a bad game at all. Um, yeah, I could have brought my Dusclops there. Like, Dusclops and Token Kiss are both good against opposing Dusclops. I think something that I did poorly was I didn't really use Colossal. Ow, knocked out my headphone. Um, I think that if I had Colossal, then... Or I brought Colossal in the game up front, and I switched it out immediately and just never used it. And so, yeah, I think that, like, I could have probably gone with Togengus Dusclops mode. Um, or, yeah, although Dragapult's Reflect was really good there. I don't know. Maybe Colossal could have been... It's tough because I would have had to lead, like, Col Dragapult Conkleder, which actually doesn't sound too bad. I should try that at some point. I'm going to do that at some point. I'm going to do Dragapult Conkleder versus some stuff. Versus that team, it actually would have been pretty good, I think. Although, Milotic was kind of spooky. Like, Coil Milotic would have been still a problem for that. Yeah. And I think the decision, by the way, to to, drain, uh, to Dragon Darts on the turn where Tyranitar switched in was actually pretty good. Like, I ended up doing 35-40% to 40 to Tyranitar, where I wouldn't have been able to do that otherwise. Man, nobody wants to play today. What is this? Something about being number 19. You can't find the opponents. Um, but yeah, the chip damage of Tyranitar discouraged them from Dynamaxing in part. So, um, yeah, I think that was pretty good. I think, I think the Dragon Darts decision was pretty good. Please give me somebody. Just somebody. Please? This is definitely on wrong. But this one looks like it's on right. What have I done? Why is my grip on wrong? How do I take this thing off? This is so confusing. I don't understand why I'm so bad at doing this. I could do it like this. Come on, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what's going on tonight. I can't find anybody. Okay. Please. 
What? I don't know how to use these grips. It feels like it should be like this, right? No, it doesn't work. Oh, we found somebody. 371, Gabu. I, I played this person earlier on stream and I beat them. Um, don't remember that much about the team. Oh, I do, I do remember. This is Max Geyser, Dragapult. Uh, <laughs> no, don't use Max Geyser. Okay, well, versus Ferrothorn, what I generally feel like I have to bring both Colossal and Ferroth, uh, both Colossal and Conkluder, because those are my two answers to Ferrothorn. As I recall, this is leftovers protect Ferrothorn. I don't remember anything else about the team, so I'm gonna drag up a Colossal here. Um, Tyranitar is a scary Pokemon to deal with, but that's okay. I remember what I did. So basically, I think in this matchup last time they led with um. Dragapult and Togekiss, I think, and they Max Geysered me turn one as I protected and set Reflect. And then turn two, they switched out. They switched to Ferrothorn turn one and set uh, for their Togekiss and set and set Max Geysered. And then they protected with Ferrothorn as I G Max Vocalith and Dragon Darts and KO'd their Dragapult. So now that I I know that they're Max Geysered, but I don't know if they'll remember that I know that they're Max Geysered, but they probably will. So I'm going to have to play around that. It is. Dragapult, it's the same situation, it's the same leads as before. I'm going to make the same turn one play because I don't really have a reason not to. Um, I'm going to get try and get Reflect up turn one because I think that's in my best interest. And I'm going to go for a big Protect here. Best case scenario, they Max Geyser me again. Worst case scenario, they do something else. Hopefully they're like a robot. In, in this situation, they always do the same thing, right? So they would uh, they would always switch Togekiss to Ferrothorn. Uh oh, they didn't switch focus to Ferrothorn. They also didn't Dynamax. Both of which are bad. Oh. I get Reflect up, though. They're probably going for Dragon Darts. I guess they hard read my Protect. Dragon Darts comes out. Okay. That's not great. Oh, I'm dead. I'm super dead. Yeah, they hard read me. That was. I mean, that's what I get for doing the same thing twice in a row. They're not even Life Orb. Oh, they are Life Orb. Gleam comes out. Alright. Um, well, I, I didn't... That's not... That's, like, one of the worst turn ones you can get. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna go Conk here. I, I'm gonna take a while, like, I'm thinking about it. Okay? Because, basically, what I need to have happen here is... How do I win this? I certainly need to get rid of their... I need to get rid of everything that they have. I have to KO all four of their Pokemon. That's my win condition. Um... But basically, what I want to do here is go Conkluder as and pretend like I don't have Gastrodon, and then immediately switch into Gastrodon, um, and hopefully aim for a KO in that space. So I'm gonna switch Conkluder in now. It's been long enough. I think they're gonna be really tempted to smack Conkluder here. I'm gonna switch to, Con uh, to Gastrodon, and I'm gonna max Vocalith into the Togenga slot. I think there's a good chance they switch, of course, but. Um, yeah, they did that last time we played, so hopefully they'll stay in. I think I just have to take... Like, if Togus were to stay in here, I think I'd feel pretty stupid um, if I didn't try to get rid of it this turn. Because Togus is one of the biggest threats to Conkluder, and Conkluder can win this game on its own. So, yeah. They don't switch out Togus, so worst case scenario, they go for, like, a Yawn. Best case scenario, they go for, like, a Dazzling Gleam. Um, and I'm going for Vocalith here because I do think it's in my best interest. They're going to Dynamax here, the Dragapult. That doesn't really tell us anything about the move they're using. A lot of their moves like, benefit from Dynamax. Um, all of them, in fact, <laughs> benefit from Dynamax. Um, but yeah, they could be going for, like, they could have Dynamax because they wanted to max Geyser my Dragapult, or my Colossal, or they could have Dynamax because they wanted to max Dragon something and lower Conkluder's attack. Um, you know. Or max Ghost, lower my defense, or max Flying into Conkluder, so obviously max Geyser is the best case scenario. We're really just worried about Togekiss's Yawn right now. That's, like, the big thing. Let's see if they have the on. Because we're down a Pokemon, so we have to make something happen this turn. They go for a Max Airstream, okay. That tells us they don't have Protect. That doesn't really help us, though, that they don't have Protect. It just tells us it. Um, okay, I hope they go for Dazzling Gleam and just try to take out Conkluder in one shot. They get a Life Orb Recoil. They Gleam. Okay, so Gastron's taking way too much damage. Oh, that might be a crit. That's gotta be a crit. Ah, that's really bad. Okay. Wokalith comes out. I need this to one-shot. I don't think it does. Okay, that's really good. It one-shots. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Vocalith. Alright, so we basically... We've taken out Togengus, and we've gotten their Dynamax into play, and we have Reflect Up. So, like, all in all, it's not the worst thing that's ever happened to me. 
but it's still not looking good because we're down basically all of the extra health on gastronon though of course like we did get some good like some good came of this um like we baited another dynamax and dragapult we learned that dragapult doesn't have protect um in ferrothorn would have to come in here if they have it it's not ferrothorn it is dust clops okay that's uh interesting i'm gonna have to protect gastronon this game i think so, in that spirit, I'm going to protect Gashon on. Um, I kind of want to Vocalith into the... This slot? How am I going to deal with this Dusclops? It seems like a nightmare. I, I want to set the sun up at some point, but maybe next turn. I'll do it next turn. Mm. I kind of wish I'd done it this turn. The protect is so obvious, but like, what am I going to do? You know? They're gonna go for probably Phantasm. Yeah, Phantasm comes out into the Gastrodon. Okay, they're gonna activate my berry, which is nice. Um, I guess they can't really trick him here, can they? Because if they trick him, then I'll be able to get Yawns off. Okay, Vocalith. I'm not sure. It might put it might two a KO at this point into Dragapult because it's not. It doesn't have that much health left. I've hit it with a lot of chip damage, and there's the Vocalith at the end of the turn. I'm gonna say that after the next turn, I think they're gonna be in range of another one. Okay, they do some damage to me. All right, I feel good about this position. I don't feel good. Okay, I don't, let's be clear. I don't feel great about this position, but I think it could be a lot worse. Um, everything in the back loses to Conkleder. Every single Pokemon in the back loses to Conkleder, and they should only be able to get one of my Pokemon this turn. So I'm gonna, even though I wanted to get Sun up, I'm gonna go for a Vocalith again into Dragapult and Yawn. They can take Gastrodon here, sure, right? And they can drop my defense again, sure. But I think they're concerned about their Ferrothorn in the back. And I think they do a Ferrothorn in the back. So I don't think this is as over as it looks. For, I, or I don't think this is even as bad as it looks. They also could hard read me because the ob I really feel like if they didn't have Dive, I would switch out my Gastrodon now. I could have gone for the Double Protect, but I also think there's a chance that Colossal uh, gets smacked by Dragapult here. And they try to take Colossal in this trade. Predicting a good defensive move from Dragapult. They go for Phantasm, let's see what it's into. Okay, they just take out Gastrodon, so we do make a trade. Um, it's not super in my best interest. It's not super in my favor. Um, however, it's I've seen a lot worse. I've seen I've seen these go a lot worse for me. So, yeah, because I still have I still have a turn left of Vocalith after this, which is nice. And I get rid of Dragapult, who was a problem. So yeah, Dragapult goes down. We have to watch the exploding animation, which is a bit of a drag. I'm curious if they're gonna go for Trick Room. They don't. Uh, they do know that my last Pokemon is Conkleder, so in theory, their plan can be better than mine here. They go for Nightshade again. That implies Rotom Washi for me in the back. Yeah, that does imply the, the existence of Rotom Washi for me. Um, what else do we expect about this team? We know Hydro Pump can miss. Uh, we don't expect Ally Switch. It is Rotom Washi for me. Okay, that explains why they were targeting down Gastron so um, relentlessly. Hmm. Truthfully, the protection of the Colossal is so obvious that I just don't want to do it. The defense drops don't end up mattering. I'm going to Drain Punch the Rotom. And I'm actually going to Heat Wave here. I don't think they're going to Hydro Pump me. I think if you Hydro Pump, you're actually a madman here. Maybe it's, maybe they feel it's their only win condition, but I think that if you Hydro Pump Colossal... First of all, you could miss, though I don't think they will if they go for it. Um, but the, the Protect from Colossal is just so obvious that they could like they have a lot of reason to either Protect Rotom or just attack into Conk. I'm, I'm not sure if they have Protect on Rotom, which is why I'm Drain Punching instead of Protecting Conk. <laughs> if I was really crazy, I'd Protect Conk with their Heat Wave. <laughs> That'd be super funny. They go for Hydro Pump. They miss my Colossal. Okay, uh, I was wrong. They were, they're, they're, they're out of their mind. Uh, but I was rewarded with luck, not skill. <laughs> Get some nice damage off. Drain Punch comes out. I don't know if this will KO Rotom. Ooh, lots of damage. I think they're Citrus Berry. Okay, Citrus Berry is going to save them here. And they Pain Split actually into my Conk. Okay, I respect it. Uh, they bring me down pretty low, actually. Yeah, the Coles, unfortunately, are going to end a turn too soon here. This is the last turn of Coles. However, uh, and my Reflector's gone, which doesn't really matter. Yeah, the Coles are gone now. However, I don't know if Rotom has Protect. Um, I'm going to scout for it. I don't have any reason not to. Detect and Protect seems pretty safe here. A lot of Citrus Berry carrying Rotoms will have Protect. So let's just see if they have it. Or let's see if they go for it, I, I guess I should say. Um, we've seen Pain Split, Nightshade. We can assume Trick Room. If they have any tricks with the Dusclops left, they'll use them here, I think. 
Yeah. Now, of course, Dusclops is actually a Pokemon that could solo my team here. Um, so we do, to, we do have to keep that in mind. I have to be very careful with how I deal with this endgame. But, was, okay, they don't go for Protect and Rotom, so I could have just Mock Punched it and taken it out. But I didn't do that. We'll see what Rotom wants to go for. Oh, Rotom has Ally Switch. Okay. That's fine. Um, let's see if they go for Nightshade or whatever. Okay, Nightshade or whatever comes out. Um, I'm going to Mock Punch and Heat Wave here. It covers options. I take a couple more turns. The problem is I can't take two Nightshades. I'm going to Mock Punch and Heat Wave. They probably don't have Protect. They've got Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, Ally Switch. They probably have Nasty Plot. If they have Protect at this point, I'd be just surprised. Yeah, I could definitely lose this, 100%. I've seen me lose these. Like, Dusclops is too scary of a Pokemon to just be floating around like this. The only good thing here is that the recovery is pretty limited. And the other, okay, the nice thing here is if, if, they, if I get this wrong, okay. Well, it would have been okay if they ally switched, because if they ally switched, then... I would not have been in, like, I would have taken three Nightshades to KO me. Basically, like, they can Nightshade again, and then I'll knock myself out with the um, Ice Punch Recoil. Which is kind of bad. They go for Nightshade, it should be into Conk. Yeah, Conk takes a Nightshade here. 111 down to 61. So, my options are tricky. I think I, okay, let me, th let me take a second to think about this. Because if I Ice Punch and Heat Wave, what happens? They could Pain Split me, they could Nightshade me. I think Ice Punch plus Heat Wave will probably put them in range. Maybe I should detect here, but I can't... Really, if I, if they get Trick Room up, I'm screwed. So I'm going for Heat Wave. I also have chances of secondary effects. That actually didn't do bad damage. Ice Punch is going to leave them just short of the KO. Yeah, just short of the KO. And then... Are they going to go for Trick Room? Okay, they go for Trick Room. See, I actually think Trick Room is the wrong play there. Personally. Uh, I'm going to detect here and protect. Let's waste a turn Trick Room. I don't think it's the wrong play, but I think it puts them in a situation where it's going to be very difficult for them to win. Because they only get to use... So there's four turns of Trick Room. I can protect through two of them. So they only get to attack me twice, basically. And in this... First of all, we get to scout and see what they want to do. But if they pain split my Colossal, um, which is how they... Then they would... Like, first of all, they might just die to the combo attack anyway. Um, they I shouldn't conk. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they're... Honestly, they weren't getting out of this position. I'm going to Ice Punch an Ancient Power. They don't really have a way around that. In my opinion. They go for Pain Split. Okay, they're going to have like 60 health left. 63 health left. I go for an Ice Punch. This is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I actually don't think Ancient Power will KO here, but I do think I'll get the boost. Okay, they barely hang on. I don't get the boost. Let's make the optimal play, which is Detect and Protect. Although, I don't need to be optimal. This, this will win me the game. I don't think there's any way around it. Did I, just detect an, did I just detect an ancient power? Because that's the one way I lose this game. By doing stuff like that. I think I just detected an ancient power when I meant to ice punch an ancient power. Hmm. Interesting move, Wolf. Because ice punch an ancient power would have won you the game. But instead you went for detect an ancient power. Like an idiot. Okay. They have no reason not to pain split me. Yep. Uh, I'm throwing. Hello, it's me. I'm, I'm the throw man. So I tried to, I had two good plays and I got stuck between them and I didn't either. However, if I lose this, I'm honestly just going to throw up. I'm going to Ice Punch an Ancient Power. I should be able to win this. Pain Split, Nightshade, okay, someone's dead. Conkleter's dead, okay. If they have, uh, if they have, if they have Shadow Sneak and I die to it, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> ah, now I'm nervous. This should KO. Okay, we win, okay. That was closer than it needed to be. That was way closer than it needed to be. Hmm. Whew, we got lucky in the Hydro Pump dodge. So I think that that was a game where I think we should have lost. Taking a second to think about it. Um, yeah, they got me turn one. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I was able to bring it back. I think prioritizing the Token Kiss was really good there. Getting rid of Token Kiss. Not sending the Sun was kind of meh. But I feel like I had to Vocalith three times there. Um, and yeah, the end game was a little sloppy, truthfully. The real thing was just not, like, letting Rotom Hydro Pump me was kind of bad. I only got two ranks for that, jeez. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I got lucky, but also they... it was There were some weird mind games going on with Dive, because I knew they had Max Geyser. Truthfully, I probably should have just been, like, risky and gone for Surf and Max Vocalith again, but I figured Reflect was, like, a safe-ish move, but they... Yeah, they just Dragon Darts me. I'm lucky I won the Speed Tie, because if I hadn't won the Speed Tie, I wouldn't have gotten Reflect up, and then I would have lost, so... Um... Yeah. Whew! Yeah, that was, that was kind of... That was, that was a little bit too close for comfort. So, yeah, we'll have to play better next time. It's always weird when you rematch somebody. Like, there's just, like, a lot of weird dynamics that go on. Because I knew about Max Geyser, and he knew that I knew about Max Geyser. <laughs> dive Dragapult. <laughs> Ugh. Why so many Dive Dragapult? Why? And I think it was smart of them not to bring Ferrothorn in the back. Because, yeah, Ferrothorn didn't do them any good game one. Um, Conqueror is so good. If you get rid of the Pokemon, like, the the, the, the counters, Conqueror just destroys people. Um, okay. I have a feeling we're not going to be able to find somebody. Man, it's tough. I'm 3-1, and one, and I'm up 2 ranks. That sucks. <laughs> oh, we found somebody. Cool. Okay, all right. Number 780. That's not great for us. This is Eduardo's team. Uh, it's a little outdated, though. Doesn't have that much for Colossal outside of the Sand Pokemon. Doesn't have that much for Conkloder in general. Um, though they do have Arcanine, which is a little threatening. Um, the, and Gastron. I, I think I don't want to do Colossal here, actually. I think Colossal would be a mistake. Um... I think the answer to Trick Room is that Gorgas, so I have to keep an eye on... <sighs> Gorgas is actually really annoying. I could do Colossal stuff. I could do Colossal... I'm gonna try Colossal. Like, he would have to lead certain, like, very specific Pokemon to beat it. And if he leads those Pokemon, I'm just gonna set a screen and dip and try again later. Because Colossal beats... F it hits five of these po It hits... Well, technically, okay. Technically, it hits six of these Pokemon for super effective damage. Um, it Oko's probably all of them after a boost except for Tyranitar. And so they have to Dynamax to survive it. So if I'm just smart about how I use Colossal, or if the opponent leads poorly, like if they lead, like, I don't know, Arcanine Togekiss, I'm just going to Surf and Max Rockfall and win the game, probably. Yeah. So, I don't know. And if they lead, like, Excadrill, which is one of the Pokemon I don't want to face against, I would just Reflect and switch to Dusclops. And then I can Pain Split, Salt the Dynamax, get Conkleder and Trick Room. I can always, you know, win that way as well. Because I don't need to be Steam Engine boosted to win this game, right? I don't even need to be weakness policy boosted. If I get through their Dynamax, Colossal's still a pretty big threat. Um, I don't know if he's Rindo Berry Gastrodon, but I would like to know. Probably. I should, I'm going to play as if it's Rindo. I think it's Cassie Berry Gorgeist as well. Let's give this a shot. It is going to be... Togekiss and uh, Tyranitar. Okay, so I wasn't super expecting that, if we're going to be honest. Um, I don't really know what to make of this lead. The problem here is if I were to surf like I want to, um, I would give Tyranitar weakness policy, which is not ideal. I'm going to reflect here for sure. The problem, though, is like... <sighs> so I want to get G-Max Coles off. I'm going to get G-Max Coles off, actually. And the reason is, okay, on the one hand, it might look silly because I'm probably going to get smacked with something I don't want to get smacked with, like Yawn. Um, but on the other hand, um, Conkleder, I'm trying to win this game with Conkleder, and uh, Togekiss is the one Pokemon, is the, po well, there's two Pokemon that kind of beat Conkleder, and this is one of them. So I think getting Reflect up and getting Coles off is pretty in my favor. I just remember not to Surf. I don't know for a fact that this is Weakness Policy, Tyranitar, but it's such a common item that, uh, you know, I, I would believe that it's Weakness Policy. I'm gonna Dynamax, I'm not sure if they're Dynamaxing, um, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, setting Reflect up, I think, will let Conkleder be really good here. I'm curious if they Dynamax. Curious, curious, yes. Yeah, and George is in the back. The problem is they Eduardo runs double Will-O-Wisp on this team. Okay, Di Tyranitar does Dynamax. I think that's actually good for me, knowing where it is and, and you know, just getting it out of the way turn one. I'm just very afraid of Yawn. <laughs> if, it if, Yawn if I knew for a fact that Yawn weren't coming out here, I'd be like, okay, fine, whatever. But I don't know that, so I'm not like, okay, fine, whatever. I'm like, ah, this is kind of scary, in it. But Reflect being up is nice. Reflect being up is super nice. And there's a good chance my weakness policy gets proctor. My Colossal takes no damage. They go for Protect. They have- oh, he ran Protect? I didn't know he ran Protect. That's kind of bad, I'm not gonna front. Reflect comes off. My Colossal is faster than their Togekiss. Or, than their, than their Trinitar. Wokolith is coming out here. 
Does some good damage. I could make a read here if I wanted. I could make a read here if I wanted, but it, it's kind of a risky read because it, I, yeah, I could definitely get it wrong. Darkness comes out. Oh, that's really nice, actually. Oh, that's actually so good. Dragapult's gonna get knocked out, which is, you know, in theory bad, but in practice, kind of nice. Um, because Conqueror gets to come in here. Now. Goodbye, Dragapant. Yeah, Protect Token, guess I wasn't really ready for. Turn one. Worth Reflect Up, like, how much do I think Air Slash is gonna do? Because I haven't gotten rid of Togekiss, I've just damaged it. I think I do go Conk, though. I go Conk and then I decide what I want to do. Because Drain Punch one-shots Tyranitar. However, if Conkholder goes down unnecessarily, then I would lose. On the other hand, I'm going to go for it. I think that i probably take a, an Air... This is defensive Togekiss, so... They could just max guard, though, right? I'm going to detect. I'm not in a rush. Detect and let's Vocalith here. Because I think they have to go after Conkholder this turn. And I don't, I don't really want to lose this game because I sacked Conkholder when I didn't need to. Because the other thing is, if I stall out Dynamax properly, then I win with Mock Punch on Tyranitar. Like, I can Oko Tyranitar with Mock Punch. So it's not that dire that I get rid of it this turn. Like, Drain Punch is good and gives me my health back, but yeah. Token Gus actually switches, so Drain Punch might have been the better move here. Switch it to Excadrill, okay. And they, I could have, wow, I'm actually so shocked. I could have just, just destroyed this thing. Wow, okay, well, shows what I know. Knuckle, actually, okay. Into uh, what are they doing? What's going on? <laughs> I don't understand what this person's doing. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this? Don't understand. Ugh. I should have maybe flared the tokens that turn. I didn't consider them switching. Maybe they wanted me to take out Tyranitar so they could sweep with Excadrill. That would make some sense to me. Um, okay. Well, their Dynamax is almost gone. They are plus one Tyranitar, so I have to be afraid of that. But I'm going to Mock Punch and Max Flare here. Both into Tyranitar. Or both into Excadrill. Um, yeah, getting the sun up is kind of nice. Huh. Weird, 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 weird. I do, I'm really, I really am worried about this token gets though. Like, token gets is going to be a problem. Dang, I, I almost Drain Punched and, and just Vocalith. And that would have been so good for me. Turner would be gone. Um, Excadrill would be in the same position. I'd have a turn left to Dynamax. They would go into Token Kiss, and then I might lose. Mock Punch comes out into Excadrill, so the attack boost is now gone. Um, it's 3-3, three to three, and Dynamax is gone on both sides. I have Reflect. They have two turn... No, one turn left to Vocalith. And Sand is gone for the moment, but let's see if they reset it. Because I do still have to get through this... Terror Token Kiss. Yeah, I have to get through this Token Kiss still. Because as long as Token Kiss is around, I can't Mock Punch stuff. Rockfall... That was kind of stupid to me. That was really stupid to me. Into Colossal, who hangs on. Yeah, it's actually pretty good to hang on. It's not bad. Conkholder takes a little bit of damage. I still have Dusclops in the back. Problem is, we haven't seen their last Mon. And even though I'm confident Conkholder can beat it, I have not gotten through this Token Gist Tyranitar yet. Token Gist comes back in. Okay. Um... Do I think they're going to follow me here? I don't know. I really don't know. I played defensive the last time I was in this position. I think the obvious play is to do the same thing again. I'm going to mock punch an Ancient Power here. If they don't follow me... Um, I think I'm kind of in an okay spot regardless, actually. I say okay, like very, like in a very literal sense, because this turn, this play is gonna, this turn is gonna determine a lot. Um, the worst case scenario is they protect Tyranitar. However, I think the obvious move for me is to protect Conkholder and to Ancient Power the Togekiss. So hopefully they will anticipate that and go for a protecting Togekiss. They got me. They super got me, dude. George Ice comes in. Okay. I can't mock punch that. They find my life orb. Oh no. Ah, I could have detected. They got me every turn. 
Gleam comes out. I may survive this. I don't feel like that should have KO'd Conkledur. They crit Conkledur. Okay. Well, that's quite bad. Um, as I get an ancient power off. Give me the boost. I deserve the boost. Okay. Uh, that crit seals the game, I think. Although, I mean, Dusclops might be able to beat turn a turn a one versus one. I don't know how, I honestly have no idea how fast this Gorgeist is, but I think it's somewhat slow. Um, Dusclops comes in. I wish I'd hit Tyranitar for more damage at some point. I should have just protected an Ancient Power, and I got too greedy. Uh, they have a little damage on them. I mean, it's not impossible that I win this. The Sam being up is problematic. Weakness Policy and Koba Berry, okay. What happens if I Nightshade here? How much is your Reflector left? This should be the last one. Yeah, okay. Huh. I'm going to Nightshade into Tyranitar for sure. I don't think Gorgas runs Protect. I think it has, like, Trick Room, Willow, Seed Bomb, and Trick or Treat. I'm going to Heat Wave. Give me a Heat Wave Burn. You're telling me we were Speed Tying this whole game? Wait, hang on a second. Hang on just a, just a, just one one second, please. Haven't hasn't my Colossus been moving first every turn? Am I an idiot? Did I miss something? Are we really speed tying? Do I die to another crunch? I feel like I might. I might. I have not protected a single time. It's time. Protect Colossal. I bet they rock slide and flinch me. They rock slide? Okay, I was half right. Well, it was the first half right. Let's find out about the second part. They connect. Uh oh! Okay, they don't flinch me. Now we have to win some speed ties. Okay. <laughs> we have to win some speed ties, everybody. They honestly had this one in the bag. That was a really bad crunch. Like, they should have won this one. And they might still win this one. Although, it'll be tough at this point. Because I am plus two Colossal. But we're speed tying apparently with Tyranitar. Which I didn't didn't realize was a thing. Nightshade. Bop. I lose the speed tie. Okay. <laughs> 56 down to 32. <laughs> okay, I need a... Uh... I need a, uh, not quadruple protect. I need not a triple protect. If they get a triple protect, they'll win. If they don't get a triple protect, I will win. Oh, okay, well, I lost the both... I lost I lost many speed dies against Renatar, but that's okay. One of those was definitely important. One of those speed dies was definitely important. I think. <laughs> like that last one, for example. Okay, protect. They did have it, they just didn't want to use it, I guess. I'm lucky their last Pokemon was Gorgeist. Um, yeah, if it would have been something more threatening, it would have been pretty bad for me. Because uh, if it was something that wasn't one-shot by Colossal, it would have been pretty bad for me, I should say. Yeah. They go for the double and they fail. Okay, so I should win this. Thank you, Disclops. Very cool. Okay, so that game was really shaky. Um... I don't feel like I played it especially well. Uh, the issue, I think, was um, the Togekiss. I didn't get rid of the Togekiss quickly enough. Um, and just all of the Conkloder play was bad. Like, all of it was bad. I needed I needed to... I made every wrong move with Conkloder. I, I didn't Drain Punch when I had the opportunity, and then I didn't Mock Punch. Or then I did Mock Punch when I should have detected and gotten rid of Togekiss so I could win. Um, so, yeah. Overall, just really sloppy play across the board, but... Um, I think what, what saved me there was dealing with the Dynamax early, and also just luck. Um, and Vocalith helped a little bit. Like, I was able to use Conkleder to deal, still do some good stuff, right? Like, because of how I played Conkleder, um, I got rid of Togengus and Excadrill. And I made it a 2 versus 2 and Dusclops and Col Colossal were able to beat um, Gorgas and Tyranitar. But I think, like, if I were like if I were preparing for a tournament, for example, I would look at that match and that would feel like a loss, right? Because it, I, I only didn't lose because my opponent messed up, right? It wasn't like I played well, necessarily. It was like they messed up. Because if they had gone for... Like, if they hadn't gone for um, Crunch at the end, then I would have I would have lost for sure. This matchup is really bad for this team. Hatterini plus... Um, 
Hatterini plus anything is really bad. So... Against a team like this, I normally do these two. I think I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to have to be very wary of Conkledor. However, I have some tools for it. Um, the, I, I would like to bring my own Conkledor here because it does well against a lot of these Pokemon. But I don't think I can justify that, realistically. Yeah, I'm going to try this. I don't know if it will work, but it's all I got right now. My plan, because I, realistically what I expect is... Hatterini and Duskaw, or Hatterini and, and DD lead. Um, and I think they'll go for a Follow Me and Trick Room, or Psychic and Trick Room. I wonder how much Surf Heat Wave does, actually. Hold up. How much is Surf Heat Wave going to do to this, to, to um, try to calc. Because if Heat, plus two Heat Wave does, like, I don't know, 90%, I'd go for it. Um, Hatterini, or er, Colossal, Max Special Attack. Modest versus plus two heat wave. I'm just gonna see how much this does to Hatterini. It does 60%. That's not enough for me, I think. It's not enough for me. I can't justify that. I think I'd rather slow play it and light screen. And s although, like, light screen heat wave isn't that much better if we're gonna be honest with ourselves. I could also have the leads wrong. I could go with Dusclops and Indeed. It would make sense here as well from my opponent's end. No, I was right. Uh, Hatterini and Didi. Oh, why, why being correct feels so bad. Okay, let's see if there's Psychic Seed. A lot of Indeedy do run Psychic Seed for some reason. I don't necessarily agree with it myself, but um, this one doesn't. Okay, this is definitely a light screen turn. I don't want to go for Surf because it doesn't do enough damage. Um, I think in this situation, they very well might go for Follow Me because... Like, unlike with Togekiss, where it's clear I want to go for spread moves, in this position... Ah, uh, this could go badly. The Dynamax had a Rini turn one. I agree with it. Um, I probably will lose a Pokemon here. I probably will lose Colossal here. And the problem is I didn't bring a better Dynamax target in the back, so... Uh, things are about to get hairy, just to say the least. Best case scenario, they go for G-Max Smite, but if they go for Max Mindstorm, I probably am dead. I'm, like, probably super dead, even. And he goes for Follow Me. Yeah, that's not good. I'm going to get a light screen up. This probably will not save me, realistically, if I had to guess. Yeah, Hatterene is a problem for my team, and I'm normally just hopeful that they mess that they mess up turn one, but that's not the wrong play to make turn one. They go for Smite. Okay, that's good. That's really good. I get confused, but I live to fight another day, which is the important thing. Yeah, Colossal not dying there is really important. I also know how to win this. I have to aim for the second where Trick Remends, right? The turn Trick Remends is my win condition right now. And it's Life Orb Hatterini. That's good to know. Okay. Um, I got my light screen up. That's not, not a terrible turn one. I have to make a choice now. I can switch into Gastrodon and Dusclops. Or I can Dragon Darts. I'm not staying with Colossal. I'll tell you that much. I'm t I'll, t I'll tell you that much. I'm going to Dragon Darts and switch here. If I hurt myself in Confusion, it's going to be bad. However, it could be bad anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. Life Orb, and probably Focus Sesh. Okay. Helping Hand comes out. This is probably Helping Hand Max Psychic. So it's going to do... I'm going to take a ton of damage here. The question is, am I going to knock myself out to Confusion? I do not knock myself out to Confusion. That's very fortunate in this position. Uh, but Dusclops is about to take a big smack. Speaking of big smack, whoo, that did some damage. Am I right? Um, Mindstorm comes out. I'm sorry, Dusky. I'm sorry. You're going to take a lot of damage here. That's a lot of damage. No, I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, big brain idea. Oh, wait, is this big brain or tiny brain? Big brain, small brain. Big brain, small brain. Big brain. Switching to Colossal and pain splitting in DD, Hatterini. So next turn, I can surf KO in DD. Please let's surf KO in DD. I'm not actually sure. Wait a second. Do you guys think surf KOs in DD? Dragon Pulp. Zero. Surf. Whoa. In DD. Should do 10%. Smite again. Dus Dusclops is definitely dead. Oh, they confused me. I hadn't considered that. Hmm. Well, that's kind of bad. My hope had been to, to deny Hatterini Trick Room. However, now my hope is... Uh, I don't know what I am out of hope. 
I mean, I have options here, right? I could I could Dynamax Gastrodon. That's not a crazy idea. It's not a great idea. It's not a, not a crazy idea. Not my worst idea. I still have Light Screen up as well. Indeed, he definitely dies here, but the confusion freaks me out. If I get it wrong, I probably will lose. My other option is to switch to Gastrodon and Surf if I don't want to deal with confusion. Um, that will allow Trick Room to go up, but... You know what? We have to... At some point, we're going to have to take a risk, and it's going to be now. Yeah, I really don't want to lose because I got this turn wrong, though. But if they have Conkle... Like, they have to have Conkleder in the back, and with Conkleder in the back, like, I don't know if I can win this without just taking out a Pokemon here. So I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for Vocalith into Hatterini and Surf. And if I die, I die. This could, yeah, Confusion is just too powerful. I don't know. It, it's tricky. I've lost Dusclops. My 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 Dragapult's at 1%. 1 HP, literally. And my Colossal's confused. So my this is definitely... My back feels like it's against the wall. Um, however, I have a 63%, 66% chance to, for this turn to go well. And I have a 1 in 3rd chance that I lose the game instantly. And even if this turn goes well, I might lose anyway. So those are good odds, in my opinion. I think maybe Flare was better here, because they probably have Dusclops in the back, but whatever. I probably wouldn't, won't be able to attack twice in a row, one way or another. They go for Follow Me. Uh, I hope that Surf KOs. I'm actually not sure. We're going to find out. If it doesn't KO, then my move was stupid. My move was very stupid. Like, extremely stupid. I hope I hurt myself in Confusion to, for, as punishment for my stupid move. That was stupid. I shouldn't... Yeah, that was... I should have Heat Waved. Although, I, we'll, we'll see if it mattered. Okay, I got Vocalith off. So, I made... I mean, I got lucky and I lost anyway. Um, Surf not KOing there is a big problem for this team. Uh, yeah, that was the worst way this could have gone. Yeah, assuming they have Conkleder in the back, I don't know if I can win this. Trick Room comes up. Yeah, really bad play by me. I think I'm having decision fatigue because I've been playing for too long. I played already for three hours in stream today. Not to John. Like, I'm not Johnning or anything. Like, opponent played well. Um... But yeah, looking kind of looking like kind of like an idiot, just pressing the buttons. I can still win this. I've seen me win these. Oh, it's Dusclops. That probably means that they don't have a good answer to, huh? That's interesting. They probably don't have a good answer to my um, to my Colossal. It's probably Torkoal is the last Pokemon then. All right, I've seen me win these. Let's let's just see if we can win these. Oh, I'm, I'm plus two special attack, right? I could just max flare the Dusclops, do a ton of damage. Um, bring in Gastron on here, because between a couple turns of Life Orb recoil. I feel like two coals and a life orb is going to be pretty close to knocking out Hatterini. Oh, are they going to haze me? Oh, they might haze me. I hadn't considered that. Goodbye, boosts. See, that's actually good for me, because now I take less damage from Confusion. Big brain. So it comes out. Last Pokemon's definitely Torkoal. You're making a move like that, last Pokemon is 100% Torkoal. Speaking of Confusion. Bop. See, that's actually good for me. You guys might think that, that, oh wow, Wolf is so bad, he hurt himself in Confusion. No, I'm very good. I wanted to hurt myself in Confusion. That's in range of another Coles. Light Screen's gone. I have one turn left. Oh. Hmm. I'm curious what to do here. I'm going to waste their Sun turns by setting it up early. Nah, I'm gonna max guard here. You know what? You, you want me? You can have me. You have Torkoal in the back, you're gonna have to earn this win. Please! One and three. One and three. Yes! It feels a little stupid to waste my last turn of Dynamax, but knowing what they're gonna go for... Unless they have Jigga Drain. If they have Jigga Drain, I'm gonna bang my head in the desk. Okay. No Jigga Drain. Yeah. I think that was worth it. Like, if their last Pokemon is Torkoal, then it's in my best interest to not let them damage Colossal, because they clearly want to damage Colossal. Um, here's some more coals. Any coals in the chat? The should KO Hatterini? Yeah, definitely. Alright. Two versus three, um, but Trick Room is up, and Colossal's still confused, and my Dynamax is out of play, and my Dragapult's at 1 HP. And I think that's it. They had Conkler the whole time, and they've been playing like this? Wait, why? I have never understood anything less in my life. Okay. Is it is it Guts Conkolder? Is it Guts Flame Orb? Turn to Trick Room left three, two. Okay, all right, Col Colossal, you're done. I've had enough of you. We're we're done here. We 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 we're, we're done here. I could win this if it's not Flame Orb. If it is Flame Orb, can I still win this? Probably not. Probably not.
Man. Oh, interesting. Gastron's gonna take some damage. Let's see if they're Flame Orb. They, I feel like they probably are on this team. Like, I don't know. But let's see. I yawn them anyway. I yawn regardless. They Drain Punch into the wrong... S no, into the right slot! They're so smart. That's definitely Guts. I've seen a Guts Conkle or two in my day. Alright, no Flame Orb. No Flame Orb. No Flame Orb. No Flame Orb. Please! Please? Dang it. Alright, it's Dragon Darts time, baby. I should Earth Power. Although, they were going to heal the health off anyway. Heal the health. Whatever. Whatever, bro. I've seen me win these. I've seen me... I've seen me play these. Dustclops takes his first turn of sleep. Swirtle. Swirtle. Earth Power comes out because I'm slower. Okay, I did some decent damage. Get a special defense drop. That's actually very important. They go for a drain punch again. Okay, so I could have protected. Sorry, Gastrodon. Did a good job, but it's time to go to sleep now. How much do you guys think Guts Conkledur does here? Conkledur with Mock Punch to Colossal. Mock Punch at plus one. We'll do 65 to 55 to 65%. And I think that I, I have less than that amount left. Okay, Trick Room is up. I have... L okay, minimum damage is a uh, big 102. So, uh, we're in some trouble here. However, it's not a guaranteed over. I have one Trick left. Which is this. I need Dusclops... If Dusclops wakes up, first of all, it's over. It's over the second Dusclops wakes up. I need I need a three-turn sleep with Dusclops here. Um, Yeah. If Dusclops doesn't wake up and we get to take out Conkleder before Dusclops wakes up, then there's a chance. Let's see. Conkluder's gonna go for a protect, actually. Should be detect, but that's fine. Yeah, if Dusclops wakes up and goes for a trick room here, or Dusclops wakes up at all, uh, we lose. Okay, so they don't wake up. See, yeah. I, I honestly think I'll still lose this because Mock Punch will put me in Nightshade range and then I won't be able to beat Dusclops in a one versus, like in a two versus one. Um, but let's worry about that in a second. Let's just Dragon Darts and Heat Wave for now. Uh, yeah, Dusclops has too much health left. If I get a three turn, you know what, actually, I'm gonna say it. If I get a three turn sleep, I can win. So I, I have a 50% chance as of right now to win this game. Excuse me. Mock Punch comes out. Dragon Darts comes out. He reflects saving me there. Very little damage to Dusclops, very little damage to Conkledonk. Heat Wave comes out. Connects on both, so it's a two versus one as of the second. However, it, this may change. If Dust Clubs gets a three turn sleep, like I said, I will, we will win. They wake up, yeah, that's gonna be it. They go for Trick Room. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do here. Uh, I'm in less than like less than. Uh, yeah, I don't know what health left. I'm gonna Dragon Darts and Heat Wave here. I didn't deserve to win this one, so I don't feel too bad about that. Um, yeah, I really messed up the turn where I went. Like basically, my play versus Hatterini was pretty bad. Um, and the turn where I let them get Trick Room up cost me the game. Like, that, where I went for Surf and it didn't KO in GD. I probably should have thought more about it and realized that even Dragon Darts and GMAX Focalith would have been better there. Because at least I would get rid of an in GD guaranteed. Um, however, yeah. I didn't make the right play, so. Um, I don't think I deserve to win this. And, like, okay, could I have won on a three-turn sleep? Sure, but, like, did I, should, like, was this, like, a safe win where I played really well or whatever? No, it wasn't. So, um, yeah. They're really thinking about it. They have a safe win condition here, I think. Uh, Nightshade into Dragapult. Oh, into Colossal. Okay, um... If I get crit Dragon Darts... <laughs> if I get crit Dragon Darts, there's a chance. Like, they don't have that much health left. Dragon Darts comes out. I am max attack, but I don't think this will do enough damage. Oh, I might not even need a crit. It's They're gonna live on, like, one. Yeah, they lived on one. Ah, good game, good game. Yeah, okay. Good game. Um, I hope they pain split, just to prove a point. But, yeah. we. I mean, we almost won this. I could have won with a Protect. I guess I should have considered that my win condition was them misplaying. Um... I thought my win condition was triple protect, but yeah, good game. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stop here, guys. Uh, I, I feel like I'm I'm not playing well enough that I want to continue. Uh, part of getting better at Pokemon is realizing when you're tired and realizing when your practice is no longer helping you. So if this were like serious preparation for me and I was actually testing a team, this is where I would stop. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I might do this again at some point. We're finishing probably worse than we started, um, but our, our record was definitely positive. We'll check our final ranking. Oh, wait, that's not... Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. Probably, probably pretty close to where we started. Probably, like, 20s. Um, 
but yeah, overall, can't feel too bad about that. Like, I feel like we played overall okay. Um, and if you were like, I hope you were able to learn something from this. If, you know, okay, one rank worse than we started. Uh, but yeah, I hope you were able to learn something from this. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. This is interesting for me. This is more like serious brain mode. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.